Today, Precarious plays Star Wars Episode One Racer. Slide, Baramita. Just love saying that dude's name. I like everything about Slide Prime. I like the little voice clips. Here, let's start. Let's start right now. We're gonna start. Okay. We're starting with this. All right. I like, I like the look of the pod racer. I like the color. Yellow is a great racing color. I like the voice clips and the way that the pod racer performs. Yeah, everything about. And yes, I like saying Slide Baramita. <laughs> okay. Here we go, time to explode a lot. This is the second invitation only tournament. Mm. Okay. Let's try and get on ahead and then stay there. Oop, oh, oop. Oh. Okay, all right, so here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Gonna wow. do it just fine. Just gotta stay up here. This is the one where you can fall down onto the other track? Yes. Oh, well, that's delightful. But it's cool because I realized... It is really cool. Is I, I realized as a grown, as a grown up, that if you use the brake function of your pod racer to slow yourself down to, you know, three or four hundred speed yeah. units per speed. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh okay. I, uh, no, that's the, this is the thing. That's... No! no! I got rammed. It's okay, I think that the first one is the one that really, really matters. Uh-huh. Ooh, okay. Ugh. Good grief. Uh, I'm and sorry. And Formula One is too fast for you? <laughs> the, I think that it feels like you don't actually accelerate and de decelerate as quickly in this game. As, uh... As in Formula One simulators. Yeah. Do you think that... Have you ever had access to, like, a racing wheel and pedals? Yes, but only as a child. <laughs> and I wasn't... I was still playing at... I was playing, uh, arcade racers. Yeah. Like, I was playing Mario Kart, which is on the N64, which is probably the style of game where such a tool would help the least. Mm-hmm. I've always wanted to play a... a Forza or a Gran Turismo uh, with a racing wheel, but I've never, I've never had uh, the, mm, how to describe it? I've never had the combination of like interest in that style of game. Uh -huh. At the same time, I had like the resources. I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's the that's the track to get through there, so you can avoid that whole like B route. Mhm. Mm I've never had like uh, all the right combination of stuff, like desire and a game that I'm interested in playing at that level, and like the resources to dedicate to what is essentially a unitasker. Yeah, like what else can you do with it? Well, you can play every racing game. Well, what else? Well... Impress people by playing Guitar Hero with a racing wheel? That would be so fun. I would be impressed. That would work. That would work on me. I'm just saying. Oh, man. I really want to drag out <laughs> Guitar Hero again sometime soon. It's been too long. We that is played it fun... recently. When? We played the Beatles. We played, we played That's the not Beatles Rock recently. Band. recently. It's been like... It's been Forever. like months. It's been like at least a year. No, it was... When? I don't remember the, whenever we last played the thing. Too <laughs> long. Ah. I've been following the track. I'm blaming you on... That one on you. Ah, you do the talking. You talk for me. I'm busy. We haven't played Rock Band or Guitar Hero. No, that's not true. In an age. No, that's not true. It didn't happen this year. I know that Ugh. much. Come on, man. 
<laughs> I'm sorry Hang that in I'm, there. I'm sorry that I'm ruining uh, your racing skills uh, with reality. <laughs> no. <laughs> First Woo. place spirals out of control. That was super funny. Oh, oh that was tense. Your heart, your heart. <laughs> I can hear it from here. Goodness. Woo. And, <laughs> I was bringing that up because Rock Band and DDR are the two things... I'm actually weirdly proud of that one. ...are the two things that I have, like, felt okay about getting a ridiculous unitasking controller for. Because they are they are that fun. Yeah. It's like, all right, I'll well, play this for it, hours and hours. It helps that most of the equipment is bundled in. Yeah, usually, because they know that you're... Well, they know. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, so that's one of the hardest tracks in the game out of the way. Oh boy. Okay. We might have time for another whole race if you're kind of quick getting through the menus. Because that was actually not a very long race. It's not... I mean, none of the races are, are terribly time-consuming, but you just wind up exploding a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that this is one of the trickier ones because you can take a shortcut a, a very non-obvious shortcut that uh, shaves a lot of time off the lap. So, uh, I've, speaking about custom controllers and stuff, I've told you that my dad really likes flight simulators, right? Yes. Especially, like, the more accurate they are, the better. Because he likes flight simulators, not because they're video games, but because they're flight simulators. So, right. that's, like, his game. Although, I, I remember one time I had him... Like, ah, he played Halo sense. Reach with us, didn't he? I don't remember. I know that he played, like, one of the Halos with us at one point and didn't do terribly. He did okay. Like, he did better than I did when I was starting out playing video games. Because he's just, I don't know. My dad's pretty cool. He's, he's smart and stuff. He's not, like, Whoa. terrified of electronics like many dad-level characters. Yeah, and I mean, just I, because I think uh, professionally he has a a professional aptitude for input. Well, he's know? a he's a CAD and CAM uh, specialist. Right. So that's ah. that's three D that's three D drawn all the way, and then being able to pump it out a computer onto, like, I don't know, a router table or a manufacturing Whoa. device. I didn't remember that thing. So, so he does cool Whoa. things. That's pretty. That's really yeah. pretty. It's probably very deadly. Um, that's probably, oh, that's where they store the straps for your pod racer. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a big tumble, tumble dryer full of straps that everybody's washing. Um, yeah. anyways, the, the point I'm getting at is that at one point, um, like he had, I think he still has it, but back in, in the olden days we got a joystick for the computer uh, like a good one like for, a, a flight stick yeah flight stick it had like several buttons on it and mm. I remember I remember thinking it was cool until I tried to play something with it that wasn't just a flying game and I was like I'd have to remap all this give me that mouse you okay, know so here we go here we go this is the one this is the shortcut there we go. Okay. But I think that the last flight simulator he got, which was probably a while ago still, was one that pulled data from uh, Google Maps, mm -hmm. like Google Earth, um, and Google Moon. Like, he was flying around on the moon, and he was just so happy about it. <laughs> but I... I don't think he had the... I don't think he had his flight stick at that point. Um, but one that's one of the more recent... Uh, I hate to call it a video game because I don't think it is. I think it's it's a simulator. It was a flight simulator. So well, the interesting thing about was it X Plane? It might have been X Plane. I know he X -Plane? likes X Plane. He hasn't played these things so much recently because he's been doing a lot of other stuff. But to make them a little uh, an easier sell, they often include game-like elements. Mm -hmm. Like I know that. 
the most recent version of Microsoft Flight Simulator has some game elements that you can sort of opt into. Mm-hmm. Um, I, there are some games that I'd love to play with your dad just because of his, his interests and his expertise, like Stormworks. Yeah. Your dad would be... Well, he'd be hell on wheels if he got going. <laughs> he would be a ama- just to have on board, just so I could I could bounce ideas off of him and be like, okay, where what should do I you, put this propeller? <laughs> what do you know about? Well, not mm-hmm. the one that I'm I'm thinking of something very specific because yeah. I'm still trying to puzzle it out. Yeah. What do you know about ballasts? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that so, submarine? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I never did finish in reinventing submarine technology <laughs> because I refused to look up a guide. <laughs> and I, I. If you have my dad playing, then you're looking up a guide. It's different. It's, it's not. Sick. It's when it's a conversation. It's not. It's, it's not, not cheating. Right. Okay. Um. No, that's that's. It does feel more rewarding to have to find your information that way, especially in a world of always having the information. Yeah. And uh, what else? There was another one that I, I was thinking of. Um, Stormworks is the, is the big one. There was another another vehicle-based thing. Hmm. I don't think it was Kerbal Space Program. Mm-hmm. Oh well, it's gone now. What did it have been? Space Engineers? No, Space Engineers I think is a little too a little too gamey. Mm-hmm. There are certainly unique You can come up with some unique engineering solutions, but they are pretty gamey problems. Like, you are mostly manipulating systems, not so much, like, manipulating uh, physical interactions, Mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Um, Was that that the end? Yeah, that's an episode, man. Hey, did I blow up on that one? I don't think I blew up. No, you totally didn't explode once! Hey, look at that. I'm all warmed up now. What is this sharp? It's very sharp. Do you want to... want me to... Yeah, I want to see it. There was another big boy that showed up. Yeah. Ooh. I like the cool bracketing. I do, too. Engines. It's neat. Okay. Curiosity satisfied. 